got Pastor Porkchop got on. He got on a three-piece suit, right? He got on a tie. Hey, don't even read the Bible. Hey, then the, well, then uh, John the Baptist said that uh, the people that wear nice clothes like that live in king's houses. Did they say no? Because John the Baptist was dressed in uh No, that was what the Lord said about John the Baptist. Yeah, how was shy himself? He said, "Hey, get that in uh, you know where that's at? Matthew 11." That was what the Lord said about John the Baptist. Yeah, these churches are totally wrong. When you line the Bible up with the church, it's incompatible. You know what I mean? That's like trying to put a. Uh, uh, that's why they don't read the Bible. Right. That's like trying to put a square peg into a circle hole. It don't fit. Oh, which is good, you know. So we out here to bring light into the world, light meaning truth. You know, and most people are going to be, the majority of most people are going to reject the truth. The majority of most people, those majority is the people who the Lord condemns. Okay? But what you got? If he, if he love everybody, why do he make retarded people? Right. Why is he maiming people? You know what I mean? Right. Why, why is he causing natural disasters, a tornado, destroy your whole house? That was an act of love, right? Wow. That's how they do you out here. See that? That's <laughs> You got that golden bull, uh, bull of Malak. Molak. You see a lot of people wearing that shirt with that golden bull? Yeah, that's like a popular designer shirt or something. I, I see a lot of young kids with it. They're wearing a golden bull. That goes back to uh, the worship of Baal. I, I see you now, this kid I know, man. This kid I know, I, uh, Close with their family. I seen him wearing that shirt. Now I start our tongue with the golden bull represented. He didn't believe me. Yeah, golden bull shirt. You didn't see it? It's a popular shirt. It's a popular shirt. You see a lot of kids wearing it. It's like a. Uh, wings too. Right? Yeah. The wings is popular as far as tattoos. You got that scripture? Go ahead, bring that. You know your boy Jetted. He's still reading. And as they departed, the Hawashai began to say unto the mother truth concerning John. What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A breeze shaken by the wind. With the wind. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Yep. Clothed. They that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. Right, you know, we, I was trying to bring that stuff back for your boy that was up here. We talked to that old guy. Because you go to all them churches, like you said, all the pastors, they wearing a three-piece suit. Got the tie, got the jewelry. That's that soft raiment. The Lord said that, that those who wear a soft raiment are in king's house. But he said John the Baptist, you know, looked look rough. You know what I mean? He was dressed probably uh, wearing sheep skins, goat skins, looking rough. You know what I mean? And, and these people see John the well, they did see John the Baptist today. But they, when they see John the Baptist out here, they make fun of him. You know what I mean? Like, look at this bum. Were you homeless? They they would say John the Baptist looked like he got bed bugs in his garment. They would make jokes about him. You know what I mean? Nate would have threw him out of the Oh yeah, Nate Nate would have made a video about him condemning him. But he already did actually make that video. Yeah, they don't know John the Baptist is back again today. He's out there somewhere, ain't he? Ain't traveling to Mexico. Ooh, shit, on vacation. <laughs> that nigga's gonna be in the air. Wait a minute, Nathan, uh, where that nigga at, man? He can't take this guy serious, man. I, I, yeah, only the dumbest of dumbest people is going to follow IUIC, man. You say that, they're all about that soft raiment. You know what I mean? They all, they all got the matching garments. Everybody wearing the same stuff. Where's that in the scriptures? 
Yeah. If you got more to get, I think it keep going, don't it? But what went ye out for to see? A prophet, ye I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it, it is written. Behold, I send messengers before thy face which shall prepare thy way before thee. Yes, sir. So the highways of my way. To what do you say? To what? To warn thee? He's a messenger too. The word messenger, that means an angel too. Angels. Yep. We are the angels. Uh, we are angels. They left their uh, state. They left their state. Their, uh, their first estate, which is the, the spiritual. Yep. You know, the angels have an actual spiritual power. And right, like, right, that's going to the book of Jude. Because, like, we're the Nephilim, the fallen ones. You know, that's one of those mysteries people can't understand. People like to talk about the fallen angels. If The only fallen angels was us, was the Israel. You know what I mean? Because we fell away from following the statutes and commandments of the Most High. I get a scripture to prove that They're too. They're crazy though, all over the world, man. They make no fairy tales about us. They make no fairy tales about us. It's not a star, it's a star, it's a star. Yeah, that's some wild shit. <laughs> Yeah, but you see them videos on YouTube. Look at this asshole. You see them videos on YouTube. If you put Enoch and UFO, Nephilim, all up in the title of your video, you gonna get like a hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand views. And people eat that shit up. Talking about all oh, the aliens in the Bible, the Nephilim, and the, the Book of Enoch. You know what I mean? You get, man, you get like a million views off that video. If the more madness you spew, the more views you're gonna get. You know what I mean? You know, you notice when you put a video, up, you name it something like the breath of living water. Ain't nobody gonna watch it. That's how I be seeing it too, baby. Right? You put a, like some of my favorite videos we uploaded got no views. I like while on our channel now we had a video titled "A Woman That Sucked Five Thousand Dicks." Oh, that that got all kind of views. You know that that people was curious to see that one. I right. told actually see it. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Because hey, these people's minds, man, they're not in the right place. And there's even a lot of people who uh, know they're Israelites. Their minds not in the right place. They they just uh, you know, a bunch of gossipers. They get on YouTube just to gossip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To, just to get into all the uh, the drama of Israel. They just there for the drama. If you put up an actual video going to some uh, heavy breakdowns, they're not going to watch that. But if but if you got a video, you know what I'm saying? Say, we, we got a video, we cursing out IUIC. That's going to get a lot of views because that's drama. But if we got a video doing a heavy breakdown, that's not going to get no views. Right, people in the world got the internet. What did they use it for? Just a post what they ate for lunch on Facebook. You know what I mean? Or watching porno, or uh, watching Let's Plays on YouTube, watching video games. Oh, they doing that shit. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Right, it's a whole loaf right here. You know what I mean? Go ahead. These things he said he in the synagogue as he taught in Cabernet. Many therefore of his disciples when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? It's a hard saying, yep. 
when Yahweh Shai knew in himself that his disciples murmured at him, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It, it said the Son of, you hear what it said? He said the Son, right, read that one part again right there. Verse 36, When Yahweh Shai knew in himself that his disciples murmured at him, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? The Son of Man going to ascend to where he was before. What does that sin mean? That means to go up. You can read in a book of Acts, the first chapter, it tells you when the Lord, that was a fulfillment of that scripture right there, is Acts, the first chapter. We can get that too. Let's get Acts, we ain't brought that out to me. We want to get that out. Let's get that. Okay. Because when the Lord left the earth, he got, uh, the scripture said he was received by a cloud. He ascended into the heavens and was received by a cloud. Beam me up, Scotty. Yes, he got beamed up, Beam you know what I mean? Scotty. That was the chariots of the Lord is what, what they ignorantly call UFO. You know what I mean? And ain't no aliens. That was the angels that beamed him up. There wasn't no reptilians. You know what I mean? Uh, what you got? Bring that up. The angels are masters of technology, man. They are. The Lord is the master of technology. Right. Mathematics. They can take every molecule and gene apart from your body and put it right back together in order. You know? Actually put it back together better. They the ones who gave uh, uh, man all that technology. They revealed that technology uh, to the men, the scientists, and their dreams and their sleep. You mean he saw that thing, figure that shit out by himself? Shit. That was Nikola Tesla. The white man is what? I thought the white man made all of But real Nikola Tesla, though, said what? He got all of his knowledge uh, through visions. And he was a, he was a J. He saw that figure shit out. He saw still technology. He still patents. You know what I mean? Like Albert Einstein, the biggest fraud in history. Still in patent. He worked at the patent office. You know what I mean? He never invented nothing. You know what I mean? Now, what you got? Yeah. yeah, devil. That's what he was. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore will come together, the acts of sin. Uh, okay. That's the part of it. Sorry. Go to 8. Uh, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Oh, I say, oh that, that proves that the Lord only came for Israel right there. Because uh, the, the disciples were talking to the Lord right before he left the earth. He said, what, now, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Proving that the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, the same thing. You know what I mean? It's going to change. It's the same way now as it was then. Right. There's no new thing under the sun. In the beginning, the Lord's people was the Israelites. And now at the end, the Lord's people is the Israelites. And it ain't never going to change. That's right. The Lord is not a liar. He does not change. Whether he defends him or not, he cares. It's right? It's the truth. The problem is people don't understand these scriptures. That's why we are here to bring forth the proper understanding of these scriptures. There's no understanding in the earth. Hey, go ahead. He says, He says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of the season, which the Father hath put in his own power. You shall receive power as that the Holy Spirit is coming to you. And you shall witness both unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. When he had spoken these things while he beheld, he was taken up in a cloud, received him out of their sight. Right, it said the Lord, the one they called Jesus, was received by a cloud. It said he went up into the sky and was received by a cloud. That's talking about a so called UFO. When the Bible calls the chariot to the Lord. I'm about to get a scripture to prove it too. Meet the Lord in the air. I'm about to get that. Oh, yeah, and we can go on to I can, Let me get this real quick. We're going to meet him in the air. We're going to be actually in the air in giant, massive UFOs with the Lord. Looking down on America getting burnt, burnt up. Yep. Looking down, America's all these wicked will be burning them. You know? yeah, that's why the slaves sang that song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming to carry me home. Because they knew about the chariots. They was out there working, they seen them chariots. Yeah, they seen them. You, we can still see them at night. It's hard to see the sky at night. All the light pollution, but on a good night, you can see the chariots flying around in space, and they're not airplanes. Airplanes can't fly like that. Satellites. Hey, ain't no satellites. You'll see them. Pray to the Lord, you'll see one. You see them sometimes going, and they slow down, and then change the direction. They start zigzagging. Zigzagging. That's a popular thing to do, zigzagging. 
They'll disappear in one place, appear in another. One, one chariot will turn into four. You know what I mean? You see it all the time. And let me get to uh, Psalms 104 and 1. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who cover thyself with light as a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. It said he makes the clouds his chariot. Going back to the Acts, the first chapter. So read that Acts, the first chapter again. Acts 28. Says, verse like nine. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. The cloud received him out of sight because the Lord makes the clouds his chariot. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye up gazing to heaven? The same Yahweh Shai, which is the Lord's true name, which is taken up from you into heaven. So, so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. That's right. The same spirit yep. we, we always looking up, man. We always looking for chariots, man. You know? Go ahead. What was you say, bro? Oh, no. I was just saying the Lord said he's going to come back to the earth the same way he left, same. which is with them chariots, with those clouds. Same. Hey, there's another. What's the other scripture? The Son of Man going to come with the clouds. Uh, yeah, you know, you know where that's at? That's a bad scripture. He's going to come out of the sky with legions of angels. And the people are going to be terrified when they see it. The military going to scramble. They're going to send up fighter jets to fight the Lord. They can shoot nukes at them. Yeah, they're going to shoot, yeah, try to shoot missiles at them. And the angels are going to un unleash that fury on the earth. You know what I mean? Maybe you got, right now, man, NASA has uh, telescopes pointing out all around the You know, the planet's got a bright view. Yeah. Let me see if the giant image is going by the planets. Because the giant image is just going by the planets, man. Yeah, that one, you know? that one video we seen that one day with the, uh, that big shadow was cast on the Oh, earth. that was a bad yeah. Right. That was a NASA's own footage. Yeah, that was shook. That was shook. <laughs> Here you go. First Thessalonians 4 and 15 says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the, of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend. Descend, that means to come out the sky. <laughs> shall descend. And it ain't no, like we say, because you got everybody talking this madness about aliens. The only, the only aliens is the angels, and they're not aliens, okay? They don't look like no aliens. The, the angels look like so-called black people with woolly hair. That's what the angels look like, okay? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangels, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in the house shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain that's after the total destruction, shall be caught up together with them. With who? <laughs> with them in the clouds. Yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to see all like our fallen uh, brothers and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. They're going to come out of the clouds with the angels. Yeah, yeah, brothers that died in the yeah, truth. Yeah, some that brothers that was in the truth yeah. that died, passed away, that they, they, they could come back like an angel. <laughs> That's nice, man. That's real nice. Um, yep. uh, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. Now, there, there is no way to misinterpret that. You know what I mean? I mean, it says what it says. We're going to meet the Lord in the air. It means what it means. It means what it, it says. Yeah, it means what it means. You know what I mean? And so shall we ever be with the Lord, wherefore comfort one another with these words. That's how we comfort one another. That's how we comfort one another. That's right. What does it say? Look up when your redemption draw a nod. When we see those chariots coming, man. Chariots is on their way. Anyway, I mean, they already here. This is comfort. The chariots is out there just waiting. 
They just waiting for the word. The angels just waiting for the word. You know what I mean? They on standby. Cause you'll see, if, like I said, on a, a clear night, you will see them cherries. You, know, you gotta look up. Stop looking at that stinking ass gas that Mike just got. <laughs> you know, stop looking at those nasty gas. Some bitches twerking this shit. Nasty bitch twerking. That's the that's the foulest shit to look at a woman that twerking. Yeah, it's good to go outside. You meditate, look at the stars. You know what I mean? Look up and pray. Pray. That's what we're looking at. We're praying, right? Constant prayer, man. Constant prayer. Anybody looking up worshiping all chariots? Worshiping. That's the evil. Well, the even the scriptures. Yeah, we don't worship none, but the scriptures do say to use the stars for a sign. The sign. That's in Genesis, the first chapter. Oh, go ahead. Revelation 27. No, he cometh with clouds. Every eye shall see him. And then it also will pierce him. All kinds of stuff from the earth shall wail because of him. Yep. So they said the Lord cometh come back with clouds. He said all nations shall wail because of him. So when the Lord comes back, it's not going to be a beautiful, happy day. You know what I mean? And he said the first ones he's going to get are those who pierced him. Now, who's the ones that pierced the Lord? The Edomites, the Romans. They're the ones who physically crucified him. So that he gonna come for, he gonna come for them first. You know what I mean? And two thirds of Israel, the ones who uh, the Israelites who said they had no king but Caesar. Because really, ultimately, they were the ones responsible for his crucifixion. Was his own people. That's why you got most people out here. Our own people today, they got a problem with us being out here. Just like 2,000 years ago, they had a problem with the Lord doing what he did. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Mark 8 and 38. It says, it says, Whosoever therefore shall be saved in me and my words is a adulterous and simple generation. Yeah, and this is an adulterous and simple generation. Go ahead. Of him also shall the son of man be afraid when he cometh and the glory of his father was the holy angel. And when he comes in the glory of the Father with the holy angels, that's coming out of the clouds. Okay? That's why we're not ashamed uh, of this word. We're not ashamed of the Lord. We're not ashamed to come out here wearing these garments, you know what I mean? Yelling, reading the scriptures. We ain't ashamed to come out here and be seen. People gonna try to ridicule us, you know what I mean? We not even worried about these people. You know why? Because they're gonna get turned into a pile of ashes. So why are you gonna be worried about what a pile of ashes got to say? You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, the average person ain't, and they're nobody, you know what I mean? And that's the Lord. The Lord said that the, those that are ashamed of me, my words, when when he comes back, you know what I'm saying, you gonna be the one ashamed. You know what I mean? He gonna put you to shame. That's why you do this work. Another voice from heaven. Go ahead. Come up hither. Come, come up hither. Like, come up here. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud, and the enemies beheld them. That's in the Bible over and over again, talking about us getting beamed up into the clouds, into the spaceships. So you're going to, it ain't no spaceships, they the chariots of the Lord. That's all through the Bible. But really, the Bible is a UFO handbook. You know what I mean? Go ahead. In the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake was saved in men, 7,000. And the remnant, the one third of Israel, were afraid and gave glory to the Most High of Heaven. 
Yeah, we're going to give glory to the Most High for sure. And that's the